Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be doing an all about Fashion Institute of Technology. So in case you don't know and you can't tell from this title, I do go to the Fashion Institute of Technology. It is my second semester there and I can't tell you more about it. Like it is one of the best schools out there. I think it's like number two as the best fashion school in all of the US and like number four, five, six in like all of the world. It's one of the best fashion schools. You make the best connections there. And just, it's just such a cool school. Like I can't, oh my God, I just love it. But I wrote a list of things that I'm gonna be talking to you about. And if you guys have any more questions about it, just leave it down in my comment bar. Leave it on, oh, my comment bar. Leave it down in the comments below on my Twitter, Instagram. I, I guess you could leave comments on Tumblr. Not really sure. But whatever. But yeah. So let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is like an overview of the school. So Fashion Institute of Technology, it's in New York City in the heart of New York City, like in the garment district. We're right in the middle of like showrooms and um, the biggest like fur showrooms, I believe. But where there's fur showrooms everywhere. There's fabric places. There's um, vintage shops all over the place. You, I mean, you're in the heart of it all, literally. Um, so it's just a really fun and outgoing school like you will see people there dressed to the nines like people get crazy with how they want to dress but you know what it's a school for expressing yourself and you express yourself the way you want to express yourself don't think you have to dress this certain way because somebody is dressing that way dress that way because you want to dress that way it's all about you be you be yourself and being yourself really not only will tell everybody else how who you are but it'll tell the teachers it'll show everybody there like who you are it's literally like no other school out there i mean it's not your typical college you don't go to frat parties you don't go to house parties or sorority parties or anything like that we, i don't even think there's really like dorm parties per se I think there might have been like a couple, but it's not like a big school like that. I mean, trust me, it's not like there's no parties or anything out there in the world, but it's not your typical school like that. Everybody's very focused, very driven, and they just, everybody, they may not know exactly what the end product of them going to FIT is and being this major, but they know that this is like, the, they're in the right path so or like people are still experimenting I mean it's all up to you um, so a little thing I mean it's all up to you um, so a little information about the school there's two different there's two different schools so there's the art school and the business school um, I'm in the business school I'm an FBM major which is fashion business management and it used to be known as FMM fashion merchandising management it's literally the same exact thing like the course load and everything they just changed the name um, they explained it to us I think it was just so we get better job opportunities or something that it's more broad because it is it's just very broad we're not just learning about buying we're learning about all aspects of um, the business side and the merchandising side of the fashion industry so we're learning about buying we're learning about planning we're learning about product development we're learning about marketing you learn so much like you get so much information so that's one major I'm in and then there's other majors and FBM is like the biggest major within the business school and there's a ton of people in there but it's a fun program. Like I said before, there are two um, schools within FIT. FIT is not one, is not like a bunch of different buildings. It, well, technically it is, but it's not like a huge campus school. So 
it's just one huge block building and then it also takes up like half of the other block because there is a building across the street and that's like the library and the museum and then there's like three dorm buildings but the school is separated into two schools technically and there's the art and design school and then the business school and so for the art and design school the majors are I have the FIT website up here and I'll also link, leave a link down below so you can find out more about these things but some of the majors there are accessories designs, advertising designs, communication design foundation, computer animation and interactive media, fabric styling, fashion design, fine arts, graphic design, illustration, interior design, jewelry design, menswear, packaging design, photography, textile surface design, toy design and visual presentation and exhibition design. So that's a lot. That's I think that's more than the business school, the majors there. Um, obviously fashion design is one of their biggest majors there and it's a very competitive major there. So it's hard to get into. It's hard to get into FIT in general and then in the fashion design department it's very, very hard to get into. I think FIT only accepts a thousand students every year and I think they got a lot more applicants than that. It's hard to get into but if you're dedicated then you're good. So that was the um, art, the school of art and design and um, I'm not too sure about the process of each to get in but if you do want to know like I said I'll leave a link down below to FIT and you can just find everything out there. It's really, the website is pretty easy to navigate and on their FIT's website is very good at telling you not over an overview of the uh, course and um, of the major but it also gives you an overview of like what your course load would be and um, for my major I'll kind of like show you that but for these I'll kind of like if you want to get into the school of art and design I'll kind of like leave that to you so Another thing to note is that when you get into FIT, you are getting in in a two-year program. This two-year program is your associate's degree, and there are certain majors like that you may want to go into, but you can't get into because they're the bachelor's degree program. But right now, I'm doing my associate's degree program, but I'm telling you, do not finish with just your associate's. You want to do your bachelor's. All of our professors are telling us that they're not looking for your bachelor's. I mean, they're not looking for your associates, and sometimes they're not even looking for you just to have your bachelor's. They also want you to have your master's, but at least get your um, bachelor's. But, oh my god, what's the word for it? I don't even know. Um, the reason why they changed the name from fashion business, I'm um, from fashion merchandising management to fashion business management is because they felt like with fashion merchandising management it was just very narrow like you're just going to be a buyer but with fashion business management it's very broad because you're not just learning how to be a buyer you're learning um, how to be a planner, a product developer, um, how to be a marketer, you're learning all different aspects so like for my major, some of the courses that I take, like last semester I took um, a fashion business practices class where, yes it has fashion in the name, but we kind of did it like a very broad, the way the professor wanted to do was like a broad just business class learning about all aspects of it and that's a very important class and you could take that with you for a long time. Then I took an intro to fashion marketing class which is like starting from the 1900s to now learning about all the different fashions and something that was interesting from, take, from taking that class was that um, fashion industry does not only consider apparel and accessories but it also considers like cosmetics and fragrance and um, home products which is another interesting thing to learn about. Then I also took a uh, advertising and marketing communications class. And that kind of correlates with the AMC, which is Advertising and Marketing Communications major. Um, then I took Excel. Oh my god. I cannot tell you enough. Pay attention in Excel. That is like, it's a hard class. And I mean, it's not hard, kind of is. But you have to know what you're doing in Excel because you take that into other classes, like my retail management class. 
um, no, not my retail management, my merchandising retail math class. That's what it is. My merchandising retail math class, we have to do, um, like an Excel spreadsheet for my class, doing formulas and stuff. And I'm like a little confused because, not that I didn't pay attention 100%, but I just didn't understand it. So pay attention in Excel because you're going to be using that for the rest of your life, especially if you're going to be a buyer. So pay attention to that. Um, what else did I take? I think, yeah, those were my only four major related courses that I take. And I also did take two general ed classes, and that was in English and in uh, a liberal art class and that was just an America at home class that was like a home products class but um it's interesting that you learn a lot from that and then now I mean I just started school again but I also am taking intro to fashion marketing merchandising math applications um, team development workshop and contemporary retail management as well as uh, Another class that is just speech communications and that's just like my second English requirement. And that's another thing, you also do have to take general education requirements. I think it's just because it's part of SUNY um, and FIT is a SUNY school so if you do live in New York, you get a pretty good discount um, for going to school. So yeah, just a little bit more information about the classes is that um, they're trying to teach you for what you're going to do in the future. So you're going to be doing a lot of group projects because you're going to be in a lot of teamwork stuff. So hence why you're also, I'm also taking a team development workshop class. And you're going to be speaking in, almost in front of people in almost every single one of your classes. Or at least once or twice a week, you're going to be speaking in front of people. And honestly, it's a scary thing at first, but you kind of get over it after a while, and it just becomes very easy to you. But how I found out about FIT is that my mom is a guidance counselor, and she would always get um, emails from other schools and stuff about about like um, programs and stuff. So FIT had sent her one when I was about in middle school high school-ish um, and it was just about the programs that they had going on for um, the pre-college programs for high school students and at the time she didn't think I was interested with it and then when I was about in the ninth grade-ish so yeah she got it like in the middle school so when I was about in the ninth grade she asked me about it and I said yeah sure I want to do one so I took a sewing class and from there um, I learned about, you know, just different, I just learned how to sew, different ways to like sew um, the fabric and stuff and how to use this machine and that machine and all this stuff. Um, it was just very interesting to me and so I liked it and I was like, okay, after that one finished I was like, okay, I want to take another one. So I took another one and then I took another one and another one. I took a total of like five pre-college programs before I went to FIT. And they kind of do it like the way they would do the semesters at FIT. So it's like you take it either on a Saturday or Sunday. You could do like a 9 to 12 class or I think like a 1 to 3 class or something like that. Or you could take both and then they have the fall semester and then they have the spring semester and then they have the summer semester so the fall and the spring don't get that crowded it's usually just local people like people from uh, New York and New Jersey really and sometimes Connecticut and then in the summer everybody and their mother comes I've only did I only did one summer class it was so much fun though um, I recommend that if you are in the area if you are in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area and you're close to the city that I recommend you do that and it's so much fun you learn so much stuff and the people that are teaching the classes are the actual professor so the professors oh aren't they wonderful people they really are honestly um the way they become professors is that they have to have a certain amount of years 
in the fashion industry or in the topic that they're teaching about before they're able to teach at FIT and I think it's about like 10 plus years, 5 plus years, something like that. I'm thinking more like 10 plus. And they have to have that many years in the industry before they're able to teach and when they do teach, they, they these t professors, most of them are going to be hard on you from the get-go, but they do it for a reason. They're trying to push you, they're trying to get you to do your best, they know you could do your best. There's a reason why you got accepted to FIT, it's because they, they feel like you can do your best, so that's what they're there for. And all these professors, since they've had, they have this industry knowledge, they share it with you, and they tell you like, Oh, this is this this is like the best way to do this and this is the best way to do that and they say and they give you advice on things and they tell you their stories of things and you learn so much from them so don't take them for granted um, obviously not every professor is for everyone so a tool I'm gonna tell you to use some people when I first went to FIT like they had never heard of it and I was like girl you gotta be on this I know not only is it for FIT but it's for other schools as well like om almost every school has it and it's rate my professor use it before you sign up for those classes use rate my professor because sometimes the professor is like a great person and everything and you like them but the way they teach is like I don't I can't like it's just like I can't um, but the professors are really good. You learn a lot from them, get a lot of industry knowledge, but use Rate My Professor. I will also leave a link for that down below. Like a little overview of the classes. Each class is about three hours long. That's like the general time for it. And then you have like the splits. The splits are just like, they're gonna be on two days and that's an hour and a half each. So like I took a, I took one split last semester and I took one, I'm taking one split now. So last semester it was just my English class that was split and honestly I think that was the best thing I could have done taking a split English class. It was really cool and it just gives you that separation of time and I know because it's English I can't focus for three hours. And then the split I'm taking now is team development workshop and with the three hour classes you, it's not a straight three hours because you, by, mandated by the state, they have to give you either um, in like a 10-15 minute break in between or you get to leave early and some teachers let you choose, some teachers don't let you choose and they're like, okay, this is what's going to go. Um, I honestly, I've done both where you have the straight through class, no breaks, no nothing, and then no breaks and then you get out early and I like that sometimes. When you have back-to-back -back classes, that is honestly the best thing because if you're hungry, then you can eat. Because that's six hours straight through. And you're like, I need food. So, um, that's good. And then, I mean, it all depends on the class and your preference or whatever about what you like. Sometimes they give you an option to choose, sometimes they don't. So, I mean, you get what you get. But that's one option. And then sometimes there's four-hour classes. Now the four-hour classes is mainly for the languages I've seen and usually they split that up into days and then my textiles class is like a four-hour class and they split that up. Whenever it's like a four-hour class they're always gonna split it up. It's not most likely it's not gonna be four hours straight or sometimes it's more than four hours but they're not gonna do it just like straight. Before I get on to other things like dorming and commuting and stuff like that with the school, I just wanted to talk to you guys about like clubs and other activities you can do. So I think clubs are a very important thing. I like clubs. I feel like clubs is a great way to make friends, make connections, make um, all this stuff. Oh, we're going to pause right there with the connections. FIT is very big on networking. No. FIT is very big on networking. Make sure you understand this. Um, I don't know. I can't really talk because I'm only a freshman and I don't know too much about it. But they seem to stress it a lot. So 
just start getting in the groove of it now because I think it's just very important and when you get in there to start networking so we want and go back to the clubs and other activities so there are so many things you could do at FIT the clubs there are so many and there's a lot of major related clubs so like this is a club pen and this is merchandising society and merchandising society is one of the clubs that I'm in it's a really cool club it's just huge there's like 300 people or something I don't know it's like a sea of people it's so big but it's a cool club um, we've done a lot of really cool trips that I've been on I went with them to go see tumblr the office tumblr offices is a really it's not that far away from FIT so we walked there and we learned a little bit about how about the fashion industry portion of it and just it was just a very cool thing you got to, we got to take a tour of tumblr and see it and everything and it was just it was cool it was just an amazing experience that honestly i would not have had had it not been for um fit and me being in this club and then they always have great guest speakers come and tell you about what's going on like what they're doing and their job and all this and how they got there and they give you advice so I mean I suggest going to the clubs and learning and stuff and then another cool thing about merchandising society is that they own the style shop shop uh, the style shop is just like a little boutique inside FIT I think it's like I don't know the new names of the buildings I know the old names and it's in the A building I think that's Dubinsky and it's a little shop there and they have so many cute things like they actually go out I think and look for things and they merchandise and they do buying and stuff and they get stuff like that and then there's they make their own FIT merch and it's just really cool they sell um, this, uh, student stuff as well so it's cool you you get to buy a lot of cool things just going in there sometimes and that's a really cool thing mm. another thing is that they have during like the warmer months they have a, like a flea market um, that happens once or twice a week like outside and you get to see so many different things and stuff and that's another really fun thing to go see and do um, so another club that I'm in is the NRFSA, and that is the National Retail Federation Student Association, something like that. And that's like another merchandising buying, um, it's another merchandising club, but this one's more focused on the retail portion. And I like that club a lot too. They have so many speakers that come. I know Burberry came, um, Trunk Club. Chanel. Uh, Trying to think who else came. I think that's it for when I was there because I kind of joined it late. But it was, it's a really fun club. You learn a lot. It's a smaller club, so it's more intimate. You get to know them more and everything. So it's a fun club to be in, and I feel like it's easier to make connections in that club. It's fun. Um, but yeah, like if you, they and they also have guest speakers that come and speak, and we also do like the big show and a bunch of other um things so that's another club to be involved in because like i said the guest speakers you make connections and everything and just start talking to people ask questions and that's what they look for and stuff 